everyone. I'm back with another technique using um, wax crayons and um, some heat. So I have my old vintage iron. I grabbed out some different papers out of my stash. I did some plain and then I took out some things that I had already worked to see how this technique would turn out. It's really fast, really fun. And we're using some of the same ingredients from my last video, which I had so much fun with because it's just so readily available and it's just, it's just fun to play. So I have my bowl of crayons. Um, I have an old cheese grater and I'm using the fine part and I just have random papers. So let's start. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick some colors and we're going to grate, um, the crayons with the cheese grater. Now you can be a little more careful with your colors. I found it was fun just to kind of go for it because they get mixed up anyway. But it's super easy and fun to just play like a kid. So you'll have you'll make a sandwich. So you're gonna put your crayon shavings on one side and then I laid down um, another piece of paper. You can use wax paper. I saw some people do that with this technique. I liked making two pieces um, at a time. It just went way faster. And I'm working small. You can work on bigger pages. My iron is at about 350 or so. It's kind of cool. But you can start to see it melt right away. And you're gonna lift up and get, get these wonderful little expressionistic sort of dots all over your paper. So let's try a darker piece. So this is something I worked on already and I ripped it. And I'm going to do some brighter colors. So just put this right down on there. I ended up reaching in here and kind of pulling out the shavings. I think they're getting stuck because of static more than anything. It's very dry here, so you might not have that problem. So I'm going to use some orange and some bright pink. I am just so loving color right now. I think it's because it's the end of the winter and the winter blues are upon me and I'm just having fun working with some brighter materials. and So this is a thicker cardstock. It's gonna probably take a little bit longer to melt. The effect isn't as cool, but it definitely left some interesting marks. So I think because it has acrylic paint on it, it just kind of um, didn't go into the paper like on this one. So it definitely like embeds itself and melts into the paper. So let's try this. I'm gonna use some metallic. And this would be a really fun thing to do with your kids or your grandkids. I'm gonna really give this one a lot of shavings. See if we can get a little bit different effect. So I'm not really working with a color idea with with these papers. I'm just making and using my creative muscles just to get going, just have some fun. It's not serious. Oh, I love that. My favorite yet. So I'll just be quiet and do a few more and I'll probably speed this up.
Okay, I'm going to try one different thing at the end here. I'm going to use the other side of the grater and see if I can get like a bigger flake. That's impossible. Maybe a bigger dot going on there. See, I'm not even taking the wrapper off or worrying about the paper. Be a little careful of your fingers. Especially with this side's a little bit more random. Okay. Let's see how this one turns out. I even like some of these back sides of the papers, just kind of the oily looking pieces, but wow, that's really vibrant and beautiful. I love that and I can't wait to add more layers onto these. So that's the technique. Get your, iron, your old iron out, your crafty iron and some papers and your Crayola crayons or your wax crayons and just have a go and see what happens. Um, I'd love to see what you make and tag me on Instagram at Amy Irell or message me here. And don't forget to subscribe.